So this week, the north and east of Scotland got completely battered by Storm Caroline. We had gale force winds, torrential rain, sleet, snow, you name it, we had it. Today is the first day since the storm ended that the winds have started to subside and everything's starting to settle down apart from the sea and this is because the massive swell post storm is still ongoing we're just going to see if I'm able to capture some really interesting wave shots now that the wind has died down and things are not as dangerous I'm not going to get blown into the sea like I would off the last couple of days you've got to be very careful when you're out in stormy weather but the first day after a storm, once the wind has subsided, but the waves are still raging and you've still got this awesome swell, that is a great time to get out and try and photograph some stunning wave shots. This is absolutely amazing. Just standing here right now and watching these massive waves crashing over the rocks. It is just, wow. It is so cool to see this. I think we often underestimate the power of the sea. The sea is just like, it is just such a powerful, powerful thing. Look at this wave over here. That is incredible. Wow. So I read a book recently called How to Read Water. I'll put a link to it down in the description. It's really, really interesting. If you're interested in learning how to read the sea or how to read even a little thing like a puddle, it is so interesting what this book can teach you. And I learned so much from it about how the waves build up in the sea and how swells are formed. And post storm, I think is the best time to get out and take photos. I don't think it's very sensible to go out during a storm, far too windy, so many photographers have lost their lives over the years being stupid and going on top of cliffs and all sorts during gale force winds but when things start to subside like they have this weekend get out because you've still got the swell ongoing and these waves are incredible they are so cool and I'm really hoping that as the sun sets over here I'm going to get some interesting images of these waves crashing over the rocks in the seaside village of Hopeman. For anybody who watched my Aurora video, you will know this is where I took many of my photos on this beach when the tide was out. And what's so great about this location and why they're like this, is that you've got this rock here, which is called Daisy Rock, and you've got all these waves coming over both sides. It is just incredible to see, it's so nice. And because I'm kind of stuck out in the sea on this like pinnacle here, 
I've got protection from both angles, but I've also got loads of composition opportunities here. We've got some great rocks over here that the waves are smashing across, giving, which would give some really nice longish exposure images of the waves coming over the rocks. Over here, we've got these fantastic massive waves. Look at this! <laughs> That's amazing. We've got these massive waves coming in here behind the sunset, which is giving an absolutely amazing, amazing image. So now the sun's starting to set and go behind the clouds, I'm going to get my camera out and start taking some images. I need to be really careful though, because the tide is currently coming in. And while I am safe on this bit here, I need to be very careful not to get too close to the sides. Very careful. Because it could just take one freak wave to come and whisk me away. It's a scary thought. But this is why you need to be so careful in conditions like these. But I'm just hoping that some of these waves are going to give me some cracking images. And coming out after this storm and embracing these freezing temperatures, it is zero degrees today. My hands are freezing. I've got so many layers of clothes on and I'm still cold. But coming out in these conditions, I'm really hoping I'm going to be rewarded for something. I'm so excited to see what happens in the next half an hour. in these conditions is so incredibly challenging because I keep getting my lens and my filters keeps getting covered in sea spray and no matter how many times I clean them between images it just keeps getting covered time and time again my hands are frozen stiff right now they're literally screaming at me but you know what just being out in this is incredible you never feel totally alive until you're out in gale force winds and ah oh, this is just this is such an empowering and incredible place to be. Just look at these waves crashing around me. I just wish there was a way of just stopping all the spray getting all over my camera. It's really ruining my images. <laughs> oh man. Landscape photography is not for the faint hearted and it is certainly not easy at all. And it's conditions like these that are spectacular for images, but trying to get them when the weather's like this it's just so difficult it's so difficult there's so many great compositions around here there's rocks to give foreground there's crashing waves over the pier there's raging raging seas come into land we've got these this lovely sunset happening up there as well this is incredible it's so nice to see this but i just ah it's so frustrating as well when you've got so much potential right in front of you and you just keep getting little, oh. And this is why photographing in the winter is so empowering. It is so empowering. Oh, it's just incredible. This is amazing. is take them over a couple of seconds to try and get some smoothing of the water coming in showing the force of it and you know I think some of these images would probably look quite good in black and white and I've had a lot of questions recently asking me why I never shoot in black and white and people telling me that in my videos and I've not got photos that there's some fantastic black and white opportunities there but the thing is I'm not really a fan of black and white photography and uh, because I'm not a professional photographer I have the luxury, I suppose you could say, of photographing whatever I want. And when I first got into landscape photography, my goal was to photograph the sunsets, the sunrises, the beautiful colours that happen on this earth. And that's what my photography is about. So when you see images or, or opportunities in my videos where I could get some cracking black and white shots, the reason I don't do it is because it's not my niche, I suppose you could say. It's not what I enjoy taking photos of. And the great thing about photography is that you should try and find what you like taking photos of 
and then embrace that. And if you're somebody that likes to try loads of different types of photography, try different colours, try black and white, go for it. But for me, it's just not really what I want to do. But having said that, that does not mean that I'm never going to take black and white images, because I'm sure I will sometime in the near future. I would like to experiment with that kind of genre of photography. But for me, it's about moments like these, when you've got cracking colours in the sky, lovely hues. This is what landscape photography is about, in my opinion, and why I got into it, and why I enjoy it. The sun has now set, we've still got some cracking waves and cracking photo opportunities but I am absolutely chilled to the bone right now, I'm so cold. I'm so glad I came out this afternoon though because this has just been such a great experience. I haven't photographed stormy seas for ages, like absolutely ages. It's been such a challenge, such a challenge but it's just made me feel so alive and so exhilarating. I've had such a busy week this week. But coming out and experiencing this today, oh, what a great way to end the week. It's just been lovely. You know, so many people kind of stay indoors and don't like stormy weather. They don't like the winter. They don't like the cold. But if you could just get out for an hour and try and embrace weather like this, it makes you feel so alive. You feel the wind in your hair, the cold on your cheeks. It is such an amazing feeling. It really, really is. And I'm not sure if I've got any good images today purely because it's been such a challenge. I think there's two that I like that I've seen so far on my camera. Trying to get images between the spray of the sea, trying to get images where you've got waves crashing around you and you're trying to look after your safety. It is not easy, but it was such, so much fun. This last hour or so has been so much fun. Unfortunately, I was a bit silly because I never, I got here quite last minute. I never had a chance to scout out the location because this location normally isn't that great for landscape photography. But this today has just shown me that locations are good in different weather conditions. And this location especially is great when it's stormy. And I will definitely be coming back here when we have more storms over the winter because it's just amazing and because you can get right out on that pinnacle and have the waves coming at you from both ends seeing them crashing along this this beach and coming into the shore what a great thing to witness and what a great thing to try and photograph because <sighs> that's what today was all about it was about trying to photograph it i wasn't expecting to get much and i just hope that i've got one or two images that i can be proud of what a great feeling though <laughs> This just makes you feel so alive, it really does. Wow. What a cracking way to spend the weekend. And maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, I will get out and be able to take more images of these crashing waves. Fingers crossed. Because this, this is such a great experience. <laughs>